Welcome to Huawei OSPF version 3 configuration example. In this example, we'll configure OSPF version 3 on Huawei routers. Firstly, let's enable IP version 6 and OSPF version 3 globally on each routers. After that, we'll configure router IDs for OSPF version 3. Let's start with router 1. To enable IP version 6, I will use IP version 6 command. And to enable OSPF version 3, I will use OSPF version 3 command. And for router ID, I will use router ID 10 10 10 for router 1. And let's do the similar configuration on router 2. As you can see, our first router ID is 10, 10, 10, 10, and here I will use 20, 20, 20, and 20. First, let's enable IP version 6, then OSPF version 3, and then router ID. And for router 3, And we will use here 30, 30, 30, and 30. Yes. Now we will enable IP version 6 under all the interfaces, and after that, uh, we will uh, enable the uh, auto IP version 6 addresses, link local addresses under all the interfaces. Uh, and uh, lastly, we will add uh, our interfaces uh, to the OSPF area. Uh, now here we are uh, working with only area 0. Uh, this is a single uh, area OSPF configuration. So uh, let's start with uh, router 1. We are enabling IP version 6 under the interface. And uh, we are also enabling auto address generation, link local addresses, and we are adding uh, OSPF version 3. Uh, this is uh, one is our process number, uh, RA0. We are adding our interface to RA0. Yes, this is RA0 is also accepted and now let's save our configuration oh before saving yeah, I forgot uh, to configure the other interface we will do the same things for the other interface also Yes, now we can save our configuration. Yes, router 1 is OK. Now we will configure router 2. On router 2 interfaces, uh, we will also do the same configuration. for the other interface yes let's save our configuration for here
Now we will do the same configuration on the router 3. Yes, our router trees configuration is also okay. Here we will also configure uh, the IP addresses, IP version 6 addresses on the screen on each router interface. Wrong configuration, so I'll configure it again. Now let's verify our configuration uh, with some of the display commands. For example, we can use display OSPF version 3 next stop command. As you can see, in the next stops, uh, our link local addresses are appeared. And we can use display OSPF version 3 here. And here we can uh, check the states also, our uh, interfaces uh, states. And beside we can uh, display OSPF version 3 area zeros uh, information. Yeah. And uh, there are two important uh, other commands, uh, and they are uh, very important for this configuration. Display IP version. 6 routing table command as you can see they are directly connected uh, interfaces and the uh, OSPF land uh, routes here and uh, beside we can use display OSPF version version 3 routing and here uh, we can see uh, OSPF writing information uh, briefly 
Now let's verify our uh, OSPF version 3 configuration with ping uh, IP version 6 command. Here uh, we will verify uh, the connectivity to the uh, undirectly connected networks uh, that uh, are learned by OSPF version 3. Here we will use ping IP version 6 and uh, we are in router 1 now. Our IP addresses are this, and here I will ping, for example, this IP address. Yes, as you can see, it is successful, and we can also ping uh, this uh, undirected uh, connected interface, the Gigabit uh, Ethernet 001 interface of uh, router 2 ping IP version 6 and the interface yes it is also uh, successful let's one more time uh, check our uh, routing table for uh, OSPF version 3 Or we can use this OSPF version 3 routing table, routing command. Yes, as you can see, our uh, interfaces and routings are here. And uh, the other uh, command class display IP version 6 routing table. And here also there are routes for. I learned by OSPF version 3 as you can see here in this OSPF version 3 configuration example we have configured Huawei routers with OSPF version 3 see you in the next configuration examples